Hi guys, hello, this is Radha Krishna. So today we are going to learn something about the Java. Uh, in the Java, we are going to, uh, you know, kind of uh, make a software using the Swing library. And today I am going to uh, teach you all uh, the basic components of Swing library. As you can see, already I have created a class called Basic Comp, uh, which like, uh, you know, uh, we will learn uh, in which we will learn about the J button, J text field, J label, J combo box, J text area, and uh, like many other components. So this will be a series of tutorials. So for, it's for the beginners basically, and it will be uh, three three components in some small tutorials. So uh, let's uh, we have to start from creating a J frame. So let's start completely in the beginners level. So. Now, if you want to dis display some window in the Java, so basically it's like a JFrame and you have to, you know, your class has to use the JFrame. That's why public class basic comp, as you can see over here, this class is going to import like extend uh, JFrame because it's using this JFrame, right? So, yeah, let me connect my keyboard. So, it's JFrame. You have to keep in mind the uh, syntax and before using all the JFrame and everything, it's better you uh, like import your basic libraries which in which all these uh, components are contained. The libraries are uh, to be uh, recommended to like import are java.awt and java.java.x.spring and I'm importing everything in those libraries so dot star and you know semicolon and you know you can like import only the required elements of those libraries once you know what components you are going to use and then then like import everything and just just a beginner level so i'm uh, trying to import everything so it might be easy for you to understand what you're doing so yeah so we have uh, extended jframe in the class and now what i'm going to do is uh, you know declare or uh, uh, yeah create a, a jframe a jframe uh, with the label l Okay, is equal no. I'll like create frame. Okay, is equals to new J frame. Okay, I have created a new J frame. Okay, now uh, this is a frame we are going to work on. And for the frame, this is just a frame. It's like a content. Uh, it's like a window. So for the window, we have to add content. No. So for the content adding, we'll create a panel. In this panel, we'll add some uh, you know component. Okay. So we are going to create a panel. So for the syntax of the panel is uh, J panel, you know, P A N some uh, some random name is equal to I'll I'll create J uh, panel name as pan is equals to new J uh, pan L and uh, yeah. So we have created a new J panel. And now uh, today in this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you all about J button, J text field, and J label. So let's uh, create a J button. Uh, this J button, com uh, you know, uh, command uh, creates a button on uh, which you have to add it on the panel so that it, it it's being displayed on the frame. So firstly, you have to add the button to the panel, add the panel to the frame, and uh, set frame to be visible. Okay. That's the basic algorithm we are following. So I am creating a J button, and the name of the button may be but, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, a new J button. And inside this uh, parenthesis of the button, you know, uh, no. inside this parenthesis of the button, you can give this codes and write some text. Trust me, so that this text is displayed on the button, which is you know displayed in the window. So this is the basic syntax. Once we run this, uh, you know, program, you'll uh, you'll get a clear idea of how this button is being displayed. And now we are going to create a J text field. Text field. Um, I guess it's capital here. J text field. I created a CF view. J text field. Huh? And here, you can, uh, you can, this is a J text field, right? So, here, basically, you can give some, uh, you know, default text to be displayed in text field, like enter your text over here, and 
the argument the second argument is like how many characters does this j text field support so here i have uh, you know already used like enter is 5 and the space is 1 6 and your is 4 so 10 and 1 11 space and the 4 again 15 and the 1 space 16 and the over is 4 and it goes to 20 and it's uh, 25 totally i have used the 25 so it's better i give like 28 or something uh, it's better right uh, so i have uh, given it i have created a text field which will support 28 characters you cannot enter more than 28 in this text field now uh, what i told ah uh, okay i am going to create a j label uh with name label is equals to um new j label and yeah and what this j label does is this creates a label this label is not uh, editable whereas a text field uh, text fields text is editable okay this label is like a heading uh, like a display pane which is you know not editable by the you know user so uh, we have created basically three components and now let us create the constructor of the class public uh, basic com um yeah this is a constructor and now uh, this is a constructor uh, now i have to define like um, okay what we'll do so in this thing in the class we aim to add these components to the panel and we'll add the panel to the frame okay that's the thing we have to do so right but dot add panel oh no uh, uh, we have to add the button to the panel okay we have to keep it uh, very clear for the panel we are adding buttons okay is okay Oh, our panel name is pan so yeah we have added button to the panel okay now i am going to add text field to the pan add text field right now i am going to add label to the pan okay so now we have integrated our components with the panel so they are now uh, together now we have to define something which is uh, which uh, like disperses or organizes this components over the panel so for that we have to use the command pan dot set layout you know set layout new i'm going to use flow layout over here so what is that is uh, uh, there's way right, something is flow layout okay i forgot that we did this so in this panel uh, what this flow layout does is it like displays one after the other continuously right so it's like a flow basically that that's the meaning of flow layout and you can use many types of other layouts bot layout grid layout and many types of uh, layouts are there you can just go uh, into the google and type uh, different types of layouts in java and you'll get it you'll get that So now, as we set up, set the layout. Now we have to add this panel to the frame. Okay. So what the what is the name of a frame? It's frame. Frame. Frame dot add panel. Okay. So now uh, we have basically added the panel to the frame too. And now what we have to do? Oh, so uh, we didn't declare anything in our J label. So now uh, let's uh, write something. Welcome to the tutorial. Okay, so now we have declared this uh, label also fairly. So now that's done. Everything is done. Uh, everything is declaring is done. So now uh, we have to modify our frame, which is suitable to the user. So first step we have to do is frame dot set visible as true. Okay, what is this is it makes the window to appear there is a basic thing which you have to use if uh, you have to display this uh, window on the uh, screen now i am going to print a dot set default 
um, say default close operation is what I am using and say exit on close exit on close okay so what this does is the window is there and there is an X button and when you click the, click the X button it will return exit on close exit on close is assigned a value in some integer and the integer is uh, returned to the set default close operation and the set default close operation closes the program okay that's what this does and then you can write uh, frame dot oh, frame dot yeah what is there a set size so that you will uh, see the size in 500 by 500 pixel yeah it's done yeah so yeah now uh, in the main method in the main function you have to invoke or bring one object of this class so I'll write new basic comp okay so now uh, everything is done and what is this saying? What does this mean? A new basic comp. This is the same thing. Uh, let me check it. So we are right. Okay. I I it is a spelling mistake. Sorry. So yeah. So we have uh, declared everything. And again, what? Oh, two C's, three C's. Uh, sorry. Everything is mine mistake. So yeah, we have declared everything. Now the uh, most probably this should run, and let's see what will happen. Ah, you saw it, right? This is the J label, and the window has been created. This is the button. Press me, as we have all given in the parentheses. Press me, and this is the enter your text over here, which is the default text. And I'll see. I'll go. I'm going to press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can you can press any times and we really, uh, accept only 38 things and uh, while uh, returning it to the program. And this is the J label. And when you press the X button, it's going to close. Okay, so yeah, this is the basic tutorial I wanted to give, and you'll be seeing more interesting and more components in my next tutorials. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep uh, you can subscribe this for you want if you want some. Uh, new tutorial when I upload it and you'll get uh, some notification in YouTube and it will help me and encourage me too. Bye.